Hi, I'm Mike Benny with uh, Gourmet Traveller Wine Magazine, embedded within the Australian First Families of Wine Younger Generation Tour. Younger Generation, Justine Henschke within the Henschke Winery. Mm -hmm. Growing up around the winery obviously was probably pretty fun. We've already sort of been through that, um, you know, you were made to work for slave labour wages of zero. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever play hide and seek in the winery? We did. We did that a lot. We've got some underground tunnels that we used to um, run and hide in a lot. Um, we had those old um, pulleys with the, the wooden boxes and we used to sit in them and push each other along, which is probably not really allowed now. <laughs> but um, back then, yeah, the, the winery was a bit of a playground for us and, and it, was, it, was, it was good fun seeing how Dad made wine and, and we, could sort of, we could learn to be winemakers at quite a young age. And, and Dad was really good at letting us sort of develop our skills in tasting, yeah. And, you know, we'd sit on top of the open top fermenters and be like, Dad, this is, this is yum and this is yuck. And <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like the quality control before you <laughs> had quality control. Exactly, before we even knew what we were tasting. If you have a memory of one of the wines that sort of first struck out as, as something that you really liked to drink when you came of age, of course, because mm -hmm. you've never drunk underage, um, what was that wine that sort of first struck a chord with you? Um, Dad used to give us shandy when we were little. Um, Little, little, a little, 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 little of age, yeah, little age in yep. <laughs> um, and that was always the Botrytis um, Semillon or Riesling with a bit right. of lemonade. Um, but then it was—it's actually really good um, growing up with wine because you you get over that um, desire for the sweet wine really quickly, and you go on to because our wines are more dry styles. So then you, I went on to things like Riesling and Semillon, and then really started to enjoy reds, of course. Shiraz, Eden Valley Shiraz is my favourite. Do you feel that your generation is moving towards these dry styles? Are, are people you know, your age and being youthful and full of life enjoying dry wines or is sweetness still an importance in, in wine styles now? Um, no, I think I think it's great to, to educate people in more dry styles and um, Sauvignon Blanc is a very popular variety amongst uh, I guess Bacardi my breed, age, my age group. Bacardi breed the cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, the the alco pop, and and it's really good to. Um, I always try to, bit of an advocate for for riesling and and other varieties to maybe move it a, a, away from Sauvignon Blanc as much and and move it more into Pinot Gris riesling. There's so many other varieties that people don't explore enough that we really should. And obviously a wealth of them from Henschke, obviously within the family. Business Adelaide Hills and also Eden Valley Fruit, so yeah. it's a bit of a broad spectrum to work with. Mm -hmm. And the great thing is that um, having the Adelaide Hills vineyard is that we we do a Chardonnay from Eden Valley, we do a Chardonnay from Adelaide Hills, and we can compare the two and see the difference in in um, in the different um, terrain and, and region. Yeah, so it's obviously um, been a very rapid education and as a, a youngster growing up. Thank you so much for spending time today hanging out and. The old winery. Thank the, you uh, for coming here. Try some, try some port. I'm gonna get some. How do we get in here? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get in. Cheers. Cheers.